Bastard. <laughs> that was the thing. <laughs> that, that, that we don't do the real thing, you mean? Absolutely. I remember when my, my father was telling his friend, my, my father was working in a bank, and I remember the day that he explained to his colleague, like, my, 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 my son is going to study guitar as a like, career. And I remember one answer of this guy was like, yeah, but like in a serious game, what he's gonna do? Like, we understand the hobby, and he played quite well. But but his career, like serious one. I just I just wanna say to these people, like, just open a bit your mind. Or if not, shut up. <laughs> The thing is, my father uh, tried to force me to play at seven, eight years old, something like that. He bought me a guitar, like a pre Christmas present. You're gonna enjoy, just I'm gonna be the teacher at home, no pressure. At uh, the second day, I just had the feeling like it's not my business. But I have a memory here about the, the day I came to my dad, like. I want to play this, I mean, I want to do what you're doing now. He was in the kitchen practicing as always, and I just came to him like, I was 13 years old, something like that. I just came to him like, uh, Dad, what are you playing? And I'm like, this is Felicidade, an arrangement of uh, Drone Dienst of Jabim. He was like, I really love it, I want to play. I, might, I, I saw the face of my dad, I, I can see it right now here, like, now you're in, master. Now you're in. So it's fine. I don't know, I just, when I'm practicing, when I'm practicing the piece and when I'm uh, starting to understand the piece, and first of all, the first moment just made me remember my, my, my dad a lot. I mean, it was two years ago, but I'm still like, kind of sensitive sometimes, I think it's fair. <laughs> so, the first movement just made me feel sad, but at the same time, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, calm. Because it's something sad that you need to understand. You need to like, like we eat food and let Tomet make their own business. And after you, so I just love being sad playing guitar in a good way. Like you just control your emotions. And with the with the dancer, I just like had the feeling the the second movement is composed to be like happy and easy and light feeling. But it's, it's extremely difficult for the left hand on the guitar. So it is kind of fake happiness. As the same fake happiness you have when you go out and you realize that it's half past six of the morning or seven and the sunlight is going out. So this is why I came up with the idea like, okay, the dark is the best environment to record the console, but the dancer should be this kind of fake happiness when you are going out and you come back home during the sunlight and it's like, the, the, the walk of the shame. It's like, I enjoy it, but now people is watching me drunk and, and dressed and like, what, what I'm doing with my life. So this is the question I made to myself a thousand times practicing that second movement. What I'm doing with my life.
I don't care about festivals. I don't care about names. I just like, first of all, enjoy myself in the stage. An artist always has an ego. And sometimes it's like feeding this ego on the stage, just make you feel good and make you feel down. I don't know if I'm a dickhead saying that, but I, I like the feeling. Like when you're on the stage, you have a good feeling because you play good and people are clapping. Like uh, you trust that clapping. And about what's my goal? Uh, yeah, my dream is not maybe not teaching never, but that has to be realistic. And I'm gonna be teaching soon maybe. And definitely my goal is like as the teachers I had in my life, Zoran Dukic and Carlo Mattione, just to create a a nice class, a nice environment for the students who want to grow up and who want to uh, practice. And after all, or beside all, having my concerts and having my, my artist career. Because I love the guitar and I would I will learn how love teach persons. But on the top of all, I just love playing guitar on the stage for persons. Just try to make them understand what's for me the piece of playing. Absolutely, my grandma. My grandma is nowadays my biggest, my biggest, uh, my biggest thing to be worried about. Because since my father passed away, uh, she's living in my town with my aunt and my cousin. But I just feel that it belongs to me uh, to take care of her. Uh, during the last week, I was sleeping all week in the hospital with her when she had a, a, a hair surgery. So. I don't know, it's just like, I, I just feel like it's my business to take care of her. And besides this, uh, yeah, taking care of my relationship with my girlfriend is quite important. Because I, I feel uh, in the worst moment of my life, she was super close and she just made me uh, at my side. And it just, I don't know, I feel responsible to take care of, uh, not care, I mean, not care, but just like the relationship together is really important for me. Traveling all the time, but I really love my family. It's getting smaller, but I love them. <laughs> Both. I'm kind of in love with both. <laughs> I met a lot of people in the guitar world or about with guitar during the last years. But from the first moment I met Peter, uh, I just had the feeling like this is going to be a, a long and a good relationship. And never mind if we don't see each other for a year or a half year, that when we know we're going to see each other soon, I mean, we just, we're there. And whatever it happens, I have the feeling that he's gonna be there if I need him. And he needs to have the feeling that if she need, he needs something, I'm gonna be there. And that, that's fucking cool.